after a month of waiting for this Apple TV 4K, maybe it was a little more than a month. Yeah, I think it was more than a month. But uh, pretty much, it finally came today. I went to the Apple store, my local Apple store, and picked it up. I know this is probably already seen numerous of times, but we're going to do a, um, a little unboxing. Yep, and there go that vacuum pressure between the cardboard boxes that Apple so famous for. And poof. So pretty much, it looks just like the uh, Apple TV I bought last year. So for this one, it has 4K. And the remote is a little different, which is cool. Uh, what else they got in this box? It's like the same type of box. Yep, the power cord. Let me see if they got three prongs on this one. Probably not. The exact same power cord. Crazy. What else? Ah. Another lightning cable. Oh joy. Add that to my collection. Mm. All right, well, let's get this sucker set up and see what goes on. Okay, so um, after taking off all the plastic wrapping, the difference I see in this Apple 4K TV is this uh, vents. So I don't know if the other one I had had a fan built into it, but you could definitely see that this one has a fan built into it. Uh, the USB-C port is missing. But besides that, it looks the same. It don't even say 4K on the top, just Apple TV. Uh, new remote with the little white ring around the uh, menu button. But we'll go from there. Yeah, you know what? I wanted to tell you guys about this. This is an Apple TV Generation 4, even though we're in a 4K. It's um, it's a remote cover. So I learned my lesson from my Generation 4 that I bought. My youngest son, who's five, dropped it numerous of times. And I think some of the other kids dropped it too, but nobody's fessing up to it. But this little part here on the old remote shattered. This is actually glass. And I looked around. I saw some stuff on Amazon. Some of the remotes were a little pricey. But I got this one, which is Insignia from Best Buy. And I bought two because I knew I ordered a, a 4K. So the one in my bedroom has a, a cover on it. And now I'm going to put the cover on this one. So it's a complete bumper cover. And it kind of, you know, absorbs some of that shock when it hit the ground. And you can see I got tile floors. and Yeah, don't want this one to crack. Because to buy another Apple remote for your TV is $59. Yep. So this is how the uh, cover looks on a remote. You even have like a little lanyard attached to it. Uh, kind of like the Wii remote. Uh -huh. But I doubt we'd be doing that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe for some kids. I don't know. You really can't beat that for $9 to protect a $59 device. And the other one would drop many, many of times. But... Yeah, man, you, you really can't beat $9. I, I'd rather spend $9 than $59. And before it went down the price, man, it was $79 to replace an Apple remote. So when mine broke, the price just was uh, lowered. So I would have been stuck with paying about 80 bucks for a, a remote control for a TV. Uh, internet system, and my Wi-Fi is not still connecting. So I, I don't even know if I'll be able to uh, show you guys how it's set up. But pretty much, anyway, um, whenever it gets up and running, I'll uh, show you that. Okay, so something must have happened within those few minutes. Because now it says activating Apple TV. Uh, what is this? Oh, so on my Apple ID and everything.
Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to the select TV provider. Amazing enough, uh, pretty much, it doesn't say like no Apple 4K, uh, nothing in the loading. Uh, pretty much it loaded just like my my other Apple TV that I have in my master bedroom. Um, so pretty much, they have this feature called Turn On. So all your Apple TV home screens will be the same. So what it's doing is pretty much is loading all of the apps, which is pretty awesome. It even knows what I was watching, so that's that's pretty neat. You can go from room to room and continue watching where you left off at. So also be advised that uh, this our Apple TV we shared the front room with the kids, and now the the Apple 4K TV. I'm gonna let the kids sign on that since it's in the living room, but also the one in the bedroom used to be up in the living room. So this is our second Apple TV, and pretty much uh i wonder if everything will still be set up in the settings let's see see if the accounts will show up so we have home sharing like everything set up yep everybody accounts pop right back up in the family accounts so that is awesome oh man it was a beautiful simple setup and only kickback I had was the uh, Wi-Fi acting crazy here at the house, but that's normal. Unfortunately, man, I don't have the 4K TV yet. It, that's still on order. Um, everything was kind of real slow because of uh, Christmas and stuff that was going on before with the weather and shipment. And now we're dealing with this hard freeze. Uh, the first week of January 2018 uh, throughout the whole country so I'll show you some of that in 4k when it comes I wonder if all my movies are being here and also uh, when they did the iOS t uh, sorry the tvOS update everything that you had in 4k uh, movies that was in 4k that you own but was it 4k yet now it's 4k if that makes any sense to you guys. So pretty much the movies that you had was HD. And when they released them in in 4K or formatted to be 4K, you didn't have to buy a 4K version of it. You already had the 4K version if you owned the movie. So and it's still like my movie is not loaded on here. Yeah, a lot of the graphic art isn't loaded yet. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Man, it looks like the graphic art is not loading yet. Which is weird, but the graphic art is loaded here. this happen? Why did it switch to the PlayStation? Which is weird. That was a weird hiccup. And that's my kids making a lot of noise again. But don't mind them. Those parents with kids, they understand. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You know what a rifle looks like. And because of Wi Fi connections, it's froze up again. But you guys get the gist of it, man. Apple TV uh, got it last year, around this time last year, maybe February of 2017. And me and the family love it. Uh, so this is our second one. We actually got the 4K one. Uh, waiting on my 4K TV to come in. 
any minute, a week, a uh, couple of weeks now, and we'll go from there, man, and, and see how 4K is. Now, uh, this TV is a nine-year-old TV, a HD, 1080p, um, JVC. It held up all these years. Time to do upgrade. So, if you like what you saw, which was probably insane but <laughs> if you like what you saw please like the video and subscribe to my channel say hello dylan hello all right Please.